only got one of them that time. So technically the same store, just a different trip. Also not a very good trip. I only got one thing. Um, I try to get more than that at each one. So I went to see a friend in Philadelphia today and I stopped at a thrift store there and I got a bunch of stuff. So that's where most of this is from. Um, and then I had a really good Goodwill trip from a local one. Um, and then I stopped at another one a little bit further away, but that's where I only got one thing. Alrighty, so let's just dig right in. I'll show you the one thing I got from that one Goodwill first. It's a little, it's gonna be hard to show. It is a gunny sack dress. Now this is one of the, it's like a between the two. So there's the gunny sack where it's a very prom dress and then gunny sack where it's very like prairie. Um, this is a good mix. I think this would be an awesome like wedding shoot dress because it does have very minor stains on the back, um, but nothing too major. But I think it'd be awesome for like a wedding shoot. And it is a size seven. It's useful. Okay. I'll have that one listed soon so you can go see pictures. Um, I tried to model it. Um, it went on my body, didn't zip, so it looks like what it looks. Alrighty. Alright, let's start with shoes from the Philadelphia place. Um the Philadelphia thrift store has decided to, sorry, the wrestling, um, decided to mark up all of their boots. So boots like Target boots were twenty dollars. Um, they had a pair of coconut boots for thirty five dollars. Um, so we didn't get any boots. We got summer shoes, which is fine because then they were much lower. Um, I think on average for shoes today, I paid around seven dollars. Um, they mark them each individually, but it's also not consistent pricing. So, like, some of the stuff I'll show you, it was, like, free people for 10 bucks. Um, but then I found, like, H&M for 15 So, it was, like, all over the place. You can tell that they have different people priced, and you need to find the, the good or bad pricer, um, depending on whose side you're on. So, let's get started with these free people sandals. They're like a gladiator sandal. I think this ties further up the ankle, but I just tied it in the front there for now. And it's a black leather and it's kind of got like a Birkenstock bottom. These are size 40, which I think is a 10. They're super great condition, little espadrille. And then these Melissa shoes. So I found Melissa a couple of times before, but they have permanent marker on the bottom and I can't seem to get it off. So if you have a hack for that, please let me know. Um, it seems to go right into the plastic and it will not come out. And I don't, I don't think I can file that either. I don't know. All right. But these are these just jelly flats, the purple and the clear. There's no structure here. They're very jelly. I would love to learn more about Melissa. I think that's a very interesting interesting style and technique. Um, this is the first time I found this. It's AGL. And it's these, this pair of flats. They are in, the tops are in great condition. The soles and the bottom are not in great condition. The price was good and I couldn't leave it because it was the first time I found them. So that's what the bottoms look like. Not great. I probably wouldn't pick them up again depending on how these do. Um, I'm always a sucker for the first time I find things. And then we have these like new Sam Edelman flats. And they kind of have a toy birch style where they have the emblem on the front here. And it's just a plain black leather flat. This leather is like buttery soft though. It feels so nice. And the soles show nowhere. What size are these? These are size 10. And I'm going to try and get most of this listed today and tomorrow. So that's sat the Saturday and Sunday before Thanksgiving. All of this will be listed before Thanksgiving or something terrible has happened to me. So be on the 
look at them. All right, now let's get into the clothes from this thrift. I went through, I didn't have a lot of time today. I had about two hours. Um, didn't have a lot of time. So what I usually do, this thrift store is huge. Um, I usually go athletics first because they tend to get a lot of Lululemon and they only tend to recognize it some of the time. Um, and then I go shoes, obvious reasons, and then I go dresses. And that's what I do when I'm in a time crunch. Um, I really like to sell dresses because I just, I like to wear dresses too. Um, I feel like it's an easy outfit and it's for every occasion. How many different kinds of dresses are there out there? So that's my usual. Then if I have time, I go through tops and um, blazers because blazers are also really good. I like to go through the winter jackets there. I never have time and usually it doesn't really get me anything good. So, all right, so first is a Shakti dress. It's a plain red dress, but it's in great condition. It has pockets, number one, and it has kind of like this ruching at the top here. Sorry, it's hard to show. It's this beautiful red color. That'd be great for like Christmas or holiday parties. Um, here is a brand I looked up in this store. It is Swildens. From what I saw, can you see that? Um, from what I saw, it looks like a good brand. Um, I'm hoping this will resell for around 30. It has a couple of snags in it, but it's this cute little like bib summer dress. And then it has pockets, so pockets always great. And the whole thing is embroidered with these little crosses. It's super cute. It just has a couple of snags. It's a great cottony cloth. You can just feel that it's quality. Let's see. Um, I picked up a bunch of ski pants, guys. Like three pairs of ski pants. All right, these are the Obermeyer. Obermeyer ski pants. It's just the time of year um, for skiing. I don't know that I would pick this up in the dead of summer, but I probably would if we're being honest. Let me see if I can find the other pair of ski pants while we're on it. All right, these are the Patagonia. I don't know if these are ski pants or riding pants. It has like this leather part right here. I'm gonna have to look it up. I'm not, I'm not an outdoorsy person, guys. Um, so I don't know. I know ski pants because they look like ski pants. These are like a wicking material, but they have this leather pouch. So they might be riding pants, but the leather doesn't go all the way through the thigh. I don't know. I'll figure it out, but these are Patagonia. They're women's. Good condition. Outdoor pants have been doing well for me. Um, so I'm gonna keep taking my last but until they don't. All right, here's the other pair. These are spider, um, and it's actually strike by spider. I had, I didn't know that spider did off brands, or not off brands, but different labels. So there's the label. And again, just a ski pant. These are women's size 10. The other one's the Obermeyer are women's size four. And I just sold a pair of women's Obermeyer ski pants that were missing the one side of the button um, for 30 bucks. So even damage, they go for good money. Decent money. Alrighty. Then we have another great party dress. It's this ASOS faux velvet maroon dress and with this drop back. So it has the high front and the low back. And it's new with tags. What size is it? And it's a size four. And again, I just think that'd be great for a party. I also wore something very similar to my ballet recital when I was like six years old. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna have to get that. Okay, here's my favorite find of the day. We're coming to it early, guys. Um, I've never found this brand before. I know it's amazing. It's Max Mara. And it's this plaid dress with the crossover front. It's like a midi dress, um, long sleeves. I think it's wool. I didn't look at the care tag. I just kind of popped it right in the cart, <laughs> which is never good. Don't be me, guys. Don't be me. Is there, oh, someone cut out the care tag. Okay, well, it feels like wool and it's fully lined. 
and it's awesome. I'm debating on sending it into the real real. We'll have to see. Um, I'm trying to get my real real up to the VIP level. So I've been sending them all my designer brands, even if it's not going to get me the most money. Um, I paid, I think, $6 for Max Morrow dress. So the real real will get me more than $6. So I'm not really that worried about it as long as it's making money. And then in the long run, it'll do me good. Okay, here's the next dress. This is more springish. Spring -ish. It is a floral shift dress by Lulu's. It's a medium. And it is also new with tags. I really like picking up Lulu's in general, but new with tags I generally always pick up. Especially, and usually it's the dresses. Let's see what else? Oh, Anthropology. This is Burning Torch by Anthropology. All, oh, sorry, I'm wrong. All of their labels look different for Burning Torch, so you really have to to read it. Um, and then the size is actually on the bottom of this. I th This is a P. I think this is a small. And it's this cute little geometric blazer. And even the threading is part of the design because the colors. It's just so cool. And it's cinched at the waist and ties in the back. Uh, here's a free people top. This is like a dyed and floral one and it's oversized so this is a large so it's very oversized um and it has a button front super cute little peplum waist the bottom there great all of this stuff is in great condition usually i get one i did get one thing with a flaw i'll tell you then but i always get at least one thing with a flaw every trip it never fails and sometimes it like the agls I wouldn't say they're flawed, they're just worn, um, but I usually get one thing on accident that is flawed, like majorly flawed, like are you blind flawed. Okay, then we have this Catherine Barclay, and it's actually an XL, sorry, lean into the light, Heather. Um, it's an XL dress, and it's this black career dress with a little peplum waist, it's so cute. The zipper detail on the back, Short sleeve, short skirt. Very cute for career or a party. Okay, guys. I'm um, sorry. My iPad storage was full. Um, I film on my iPad. Very professional. Um, but it holds the most. So here we are. And it still ran out. Anyway, we have these Zella 3X Crop leggings with mesh detail in awesome condition. Single mesh. Yep. Sorry, the lighting is a little scattered. Okay. And then we have Assets by Spanx XL. Just a plain black legging. Length. Also, it has this reinforced crotch which when it's not being worn looks strange, but I'm, I think while it's worn is fine. And then I found this new with tags anthropology sweatshirt, which is super cute. It said, let's go bananas on it. And it's like this ombre gray, new with tags. It's Saturday, Sunday by anthropology, size so small. So cute. A lot of the things in the store today were new with tags, um, which is great because the holiday season, but it also means that they were marking them up more. So I didn't grab, I grabbed the reasonably priced new with tags. Um, during the holidays, you want to grab more new with tags. I'm just, I'm not opposed to giving second hand for Christmas to people that I know would appreciate it. Um, because they know that it's quality items that can be used for longer periods. Okay. So next is this piece of cloth, size 10. These were not from this trip. Uh, these fell out of another bag in my trunk. So that's why they're coming up now. Here they are. It's this 
olive green trouser. It's like a silky material. I don't think it is silk. Uh, these are Alice and Olivia size four. I don't pick up Alice and Olivia all the time anymore. These were super cute though. They're like a faux suede. They're polyester textured black legging. So that's why I picked those up. And then we have Halston Heritage size six dress. Um, it is a fit and flare tank dress, but right here there's a little bit of pilling. I wonder if someone who wore this was like a cashier or a bank teller or something because it rubs right here where it, like a desk would be. Um, it's not that noticeable, but that is the only flaw. Also the first time me finding that brand. And then we've come to my flawed item. So this is a Tory Burch sundress. So of course I saw the Tory Burch and overlooked everything else. Um, it's got this cool ruffle neckline and it's also on the bottom here and then it's pleated through the bust and around the waist and on the back, but it has a stain. It's a little one. I don't know if you can even see it. Uh, Yep, right there. All right, so that little stain. That is the only sign of wear. And this is a size two. But I will price it to reflect because that looks like it's very set in. Like it's not coming out. Unless someone has some magical powers. And then the last thing from that store were these Athleta joggers size two. They're, they look like new. They're a black and then it's silky with an elastic waist and bottom cuffs. And they have pockets in the front and the back. All the pockets. That's good for like running errands. Okay. So then I went to the Goodwill that was a little bit further away um, and I found two things. So that seems like it was worth it, right guys? <laughs> but if I'm going to drive to a Goodwill, I'm going to get what I can find. I'm not going to just get nothing. I also didn't have a lot of time. Um, I had an appointment that day near there, so it wasn't a total waste. Um, I think I had about a half an hour, so I went through the dresses and then the shoes, and I casually went through athletics. But in the athletics were these. They are a plaid linen, or no, they're wool, sorry. Plaid wool like a culotte, and they're actually the Fisher Project, which is Eileen Fisher, um, and they are a size small. Super cute. They put all of like the elastic waist pants in the athletic section at this Goodwill, um, so that's why they were in there, because they're, they, they're not a traditional trouser. And then I got one dress there. It is this polka dotted wrap maxi dress. And it's by Super Fox, and it's a large, um, and it's blue and white wrap. And the back, it's a high-low, and it has this ruffle. I'm going to have to find a stock picture for the listing because laying flat does not do it justice. Um, but there it is. Okay. From the Goodwill on my way home from work. This is our last bag, guys. Bear with me. So I got one pair of shoes. And it's these classic black chunky heels from Aldo. And they're like almost brand new. That looks like one time of wear. Let's see what size. I think they're six and a half. And then I found this Angels of the North, which is anthropology, size medium, sweater jacket with the lace at the bottom and it's all the way around. And the rest of the coat I think is wool. Before I say that again, yep, 
Yep, it is cool. Yep. And it's a navy, and there's the back with it again. And it's structured. It has stitching here and on the front, too. It's beautiful, guys. And a snap button closure. So it is a coat. Uh, then we have this Hannah Anderson. I think this is a women's small. Um, I, didn't, I honestly didn't know they did women's other than like the matching. I didn't see the match. I did glance in the kids to see because I figured that would probably be worth more. Um, but it's like this mismatched patterned tie front cardigan. It has a small stain on it that I can't find out. No, it's right here. It's like so small. And I don't see it in. See? So small. It's like right there. There's nothing. It's so hard to see. Um, I can only see it under the big um, daylight bulbs taking pictures. And there's the back. And then we have another Eileen Fisher sweater. Again, this is mohair. And it's like a boxy cropped sweater. And it's a size medium. And this is the actual Eileen Fisher tag. It's not the Fisher Project. I don't know if the Fisher Project is like a offshoot or something. Uh, so it's 60% kid mohair and 40% nylon. And this has no flaws. Thankfully. I find a lot of Eileen, but a lot of it has flaws because of her sweaters. If they get snagged or anything. Um, and I don't like to pick it up if it gets snags because it doesn't do as well on Poshmark as it does on eBay. So it sells slower. So especially if it's flawed. Uh, next is this pop over Vince striped shirt. It is a size four. I think I have the same shirt listed, like the style, but it's a chambray. And I think it's a size two. So that was neat to find. Uh, and then this schwa sweater. I've kind of stopped picking up schwa. It's very hard for me to not pick it up because it is such an expensive brand, but it doesn't do as great as the retail price. It's one of those. But this sweater is a navy sweater with little cherries and bell sleeves in perfect condition. So yeah, I grabbed it. <laughs> um, it's a size medium. I'm hoping someone else loves it as much as I do. I'm just not a fan of a bell sleeve, unfortunately. Or that would be in my closet. Okay. And then let's do my other flawed item. This is my big flawed item for the trip. A tiny, tiny stain. And I'll just close it. It'll hardly affect the price. Um, on the Tory Birch one, that's a different story. This is an Odile sweater with a tie front. Unfortunately, I did not leave it tied. And it has this floral pattern. It's an embroidery right there. And it's just a beautiful sweater. Uh, let's see what you're made out of. I want to say wool. Yep, lamb's wool. 80%, 20% nylon. But... It has a hole on the sleeve. They're little holes. Um, another hole on the same sleeve. And then a hole on the back. So all of these little holes. I'm sure someone who is much handier than I could sew these up in a jiff. I am not that good with the thread and needle. So... I'm going to disclose it, put it up super cheap, and hope someone else can take care of it. Because I also don't want to re-donate it, because it's just going to go in the garbage. And we don't want that. So why not connect it with someone who can do it justice? Alrighty. Next is another great holiday piece. It is this dark green blazer. I love a good blazer, especially at the holidays. Um, it's a new with tags, J. Crew. 365 size zero and it doesn't have the original price on it which is a bummer but it also has this cool blue striped lining totally awesome 
awesome. Would be great for Christmas. And then we have another dress. This is an Eliza J dress. It's floral, it has this awesome bell sleeve. And it's super structured and it is a size four. And did I say it was new with tags? It's new with tags. Does it have a price on it? It does not have a price on it. But it is from Nordstrom, it has a Nordstrom tag too. We just got a Nordstrom rack in our area. We do not have a Nordstrom. Um, but it's pretty exciting to even have a Nordstrom rack. Okay, last thing is amazing. It is, I already looked it up. So this is a Tadashi Soji, size 14, so a good size. Uh, it is the Doris dress. Guys, I was picking this thing up if it was from Target because it's literally beautiful. Um, it is this sheath dress and it has let me see if I can get it close enough these beautiful sequin flowers and this lace detailing with overlay mesh so pretty and a teal color um it is the Doris dress and I am so excited to get this one listed um this might be so I do in my closet I will list my favorites last so then when I share they're the last thing to get shared and they're at the top of my closet so then I every time I like log in I'm like oh look it's beautiful <laughs> so this will probably be the last thing that I list ironically even though it's my favorite so pretty might look for it in my size I wonder if they have it in a different color um so pretty okay that is everything I know thanks for bearing with me guys um so that was from Technically four Goodwill trips. Um, one wasn't a Goodwill, one was just a thrift store. Um, yeah, so that's all I have. This is going to keep me busy for a little bit. I need to count my pieces, figure out my cost of goods, get my bookkeeping up to order, and get all this stuff listed. So wish me luck this weekend, guys, and have a happy Thanksgiving.